Welcome back Star Wars fans to episode 110 of Ronald's Reviews and on today's episode we've got a huge gift box from Michael Chapman. Cue the march. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro today we're going to take a look at a gift box sent in by Michael Chapman. Now Michael has been a subscriber of the channel for quite a while now uh, and he contacted me last week, first time we've actually ever spoken, but contacted me last week, uh, said he was enjoying the channel, that he'd seen me on Retro Blasting, was really enjoying the content uh, and then contacted me again later on to say that he would like to send me a gift donation. Now again with gifts I'm always, always willing to pay for any gift donations and I explained that to Michael uh, but he also explained that once you pay for a gift it's no longer a gift which you can't really argue with. So once again uh, I graciously accepted uh, and a couple of days later this parcel arrived. Now I do know what's inside it but I'm very very excited to get it in hand so uh, that being said let's go take a look at what Michael was very very generous enough to send us. Okay there we go so as you can see I have taken the label off the top and I have opened it off camera I haven't actually looked at it yet I've just opened it just to save a little bit of time because it was well wrapped up and well taped up so I just thought it would save some time so let's just take a look. Oh there's a note in there have a quick look make sure there's nothing sensitive on it oh wow it's quite a lengthy note okay so i won't i won't put this on camera i'll just try to read it the best i can i'm not great with reading on camera so i apologize so uh, dear luke aka reynolds reviews uh hi mate it's michael chapman aka mike's chat on youtube uh, here are the toys i mentioned to you when i messaged you uh, if you can customise the wagon, okay, I do know a few things what's in here. If you can customise the wagon uh, to the power of the force Ewok wagon, uh, that's up to you to customise things or if you'd like to leave it original. Uh, Stan Solo and Toy Poloi are the godfathers of customisation. Well, they certainly are, Michael. You're not kidding there. Do some great work. Uh, great to see the channel Toys Not Trash. Ah, uh, yes, that you give with great heart. The vintage spare Castle Grayskull is absolutely brilliant. You're a genuine nice bloke. Well, I tried to be Michael, you know, but everyone in our community, uh, you know, fantastic guys and fantastic people. So, yeah, I don't feel I do anything uh, that nobody else does. So. Uh, so, as a nice bloke and subscriber to my channel, uh, I'm going to be that nice bloke today and give you something that you truly deserve. Uh, and you need to be awarded. You need to be awarded for being the man that I think others uh, should try to be in the toy community. Well, again, very, very flattering, Michael. Uh, collect vintage toys from back in the day and bring great childhood memories that give us a way back to the good old days, absolutely. Uh, days without bills, worries, uh, and things we can't afford. No mortgages, wives or kids. Well, <laughs> again, yeah, that, that would be less stressful, Michael. I'm a big kid at heart and won't be suffering from old age. Anyway, mate, enjoy the gift and spread the word. And let us all, all us toy collectors together, help each other out, because in the end, we are all in the same boat. Yeah, we certainly are, Michael. Uh, P.S. Toy collecting is another one of my hobbies. Uh, as well as the other hobby, I'm also a UK actor and film director. Wow, okay, that's cool. Uh, my first film was called Jack Southeast, uh, and it's on YouTube to view if you want to. It won four Worldwide Film Festival Awards. Wow. Uh, and I was very pleased making it. The sequel is called Our Manor, um, which is now in the film festivals and has already won five awards. Wow, bloody hell. Wow, way to go, Michael. That's great. Um, look it up on IMDB website and check my profile out as well. Uh, speak soon. Toy collector, UK actor and director, Michael Chapman. Wow. Well, there is a lot of information on that letter, Michael. I'll definitely, definitely check that out. Okay. So thank you for the letter, Michael. That will be going into my box with all my other letters. Now let's get into this and see what we've got. Now, like I said, I do know a few things in this box, everybody, but it feels quite heavy. I'm not sure if Michael's thrown a few other things in there. So... Let's have a look. So, as always, when it's collector to collector, wrapped very, very well. Wow, now look at that. So I'm going to get everything out first, just sort of quickly, just to get everything out, and then we're going to take a closer look once I've got rid of the box and everything. So, right, can we get this out? I don't know if I maybe need to get some of the packaging out first, everyone. Just bear with. Okay. Oh, wow. So, you can't see that. It's just off camera, but that is a Robin Hood Prince of Thieves battle wagon. And if you think you've seen it somewhere before, you're probably right. But it's got some figures all in there as well. Well, we're just gonna put this down and then we'll look closely once I've got everything out. So much stuff in here, what's this? Oh, look at that. What looks to be like a mini Game Boy. Fantastic, I didn't know that was coming. We've got, so I believe that is the net launcher from again, Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. 
Oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't know that was coming. We have got a Masters of the Universe comic. Wow, that's awesome. And there's one behind it as well. We have also got a Star Wars comic. Now, that is really awesome. And that is actually a real coincidence. I'll tell you a little bit more about that further in the video. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got a wheel. There's a couple more bits in here as well. Oh no, one more bit. And I did know this was coming. I'm very, very pleased to get this. And again, I will tell you why later in the video. If I can open it. It's a droids figure. But we've got a droids Boba Fett. And again, there's a little story to go with that. So, okay, great. Let's get these on the table and take a closer look. Okay, so let's start with the... Prince of Thieves, Battle Wagon and the Net Launcher. Now I'll be totally honest guys, I know nothing about this line, I have no real knowledge about it. This is the first time I've ever um, had anything in hand from this line, but I've got to admit, I do like it, I think it looks pretty cool. Now again, this Battle Wagon, I've no idea if it's complete, so again you can jump into the comments and let me know. It is the first time I've seen anything, um, no idea if it's complete. It looks like there should be something on that catapult and um, again, I kind of get the feeling there should be something inside the wagon. but. If you think it looks familiar, you might be right, because this is just a repaint of the Ewok Battle Wagon from Vintage Star Wars. Now, obviously there are a few differences. I think the Ewok Battle Wagon had like, um, like a skull on the top of it and things like that, and a few, uh, there are a few differences, but the actual structure of the wagon itself is, is pretty much a repaint. So if you think it looks familiar, you're probably right, but it is just a really cool piece. We've got the ladders there. Like I say, I don't know if there's anything else missing. Looks like there should be something sat in the catapult, but it is just a cool piece. Uh, and I really do like the look of it. Then we've got the net launcher. Now again, I'm not even sure if I've got this set up right, but that is quite a cool piece as well. Um, I'm not sure if it fires. I've not tried it. It looks like there's a little button there. I dare try it in case it goes to the other side of the room. But again, just a really, really cool piece. And anything vintage Kenner always gets my interest, but this is just a line that I've never really seen. I don't have any of it, never collected any of it, but I can certainly appreciate it. And it's in very good condition so uh, but jump in the comments tell me a bit more about it if you know about this line i'm quite happy to uh, to take advice on this um but i do think it's really cool um and yeah it will certainly display well once i've got some space it may need to go into storage to start with uh, because i've got no space once again uh, and these are quite large so we'll need some serious display space um but yeah really really pleased with those and as soon as i've got some room they will be going on display in the base so uh, but we did get some figures as well, so let's take a look at those. Okay, so we have got, now I believe, again, I don't have a huge amount of knowledge, I believe this is Little John. And I don't know if he's complete, he's got a cool little, looks like he's got a quiver there for some arrows. Cool soft goods on his, sort of bottom of his legs and the top of his boots there, they're really nice. And again, that quiver is soft goods, so I think that's really cool. Yeah, he's a pretty good figure and he's in great condition. Will he stand up? He will. Then we have got Robin Hood himself, so Kevin Costner. Does that look like Kevin Costner? I don't think that's a bad sculpt, actually. So we've got Robin Hood himself. Again, great condition. Hair looks pretty good as well. I actually think that's a really good sculpt. So when were these released? Were these sort of 1991 time? Is that when the movie was out? That's what I want to say. That's kind of the time when I remember that goddamn Brian Adams song was at number one for like... 2700 weeks or something <laughs> just by the time it had come off number one i was sick of hearing it but and then we've got another robin hood as well that's a really cool outfit and again soft goods the soft goods look great on these but again he's in good condition yeah really pleased with that so yeah like i say i've got no knowledge of this line so please forgive me that obviously that wasn't a particularly thorough overview of, of the vehicles and the, and the figures but i can certainly appreciate them and anything vintage kenner will always get some interest from myself but yeah uh, i will be able to display the figures i will get them they will probably go on the oddity shelf for now because obviously i've only got a few of them and the, the wagons will probably have to go into storage for the time being until i've got some more shelving space but really really pleased with those um okay so let's move on what else have we got okay so next up we've got this little mini retro game and now that looks to me like a mini game boy and it says i don't know if you can see that because it's reflective it says it's got 152 games included that's really cool there's a few of the games on the back there requires some batteries 
we should take this out and have a look, see if it's open. So there we go, so it is basically just a mini Game Boy. That would be quite cool to play. Oh look, and there's already batteries in it. Brilliant. Yeah, so. I wonder if it's got any of the, the old sort of game, you know, sort of Tetris and Mario. That would be really cool. So that's a nice little piece. And we're finishing off with that lineup. What a lineup that is now. Uh, I'll go through each one individually. We'll start with the He Man comic purely because I had no idea these existed. So we've got He Man and the Master of the Universe DC comic, $2.99. Number two, it says. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. That image on the front looks fantastic. We've got He Man at the bottom there. Looks like he's looks like he's fighting Beast Man, Merman. Looks like we've got Evil Lynn on there. Yeah, wow, that looks great. So I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging. I will have a proper look at it at some point, but really, really pleased with that. That looks amazing. Uh, and then I'm gonna to jump to, now I've got a little bit of a story about both the next items. I'm gonna to jump to the Boba Fett first. Now, I knew this was coming and when Michael told me he was gonna send me this, I was over the moon because whenever I buy anything Boba Fett, I always try to buy it in twos because I like to have one to keep on the card and one to open. I think that's a beautiful card, by the way. Um, you know, so the retro edition I bought in two, you know, 40th anniversary bought two, carbonized bought two, because I like to have one in the packaging and one loose. Now, when I bought these droids figures, um, I bought two Boba Fetts and one of each of R2-D2. And unbeknown to me, when I was waiting for my pre-order to arrive, the company that I ordered from actually changed the uh, requirements to the stock from two per customer to one per customer. So when my droids figure turn, figures turned up, I thought I was getting two Boba Fetts and one R2-D2, one C-3PO. When I opened the package, I only got one of each. So I desperately tried to get another Boba Fett, couldn't get one, sold out everywhere, and then eBay were crazy prices. So this is perfect, because it now means I can open one and keep one on the card, and I've still got two of each. So I've got one loose and one carded. Now, the plan was, because this was a gift, I was going to leave this one carded and display this one, but unfortunately... There was some sellotape stuck to the back and I tried to take it off very carefully, but as you can see, it's torn some of the card back. So I'm actually going to open this one and display this one loose. So I'm really, really pleased to get that one. Thank you, Michael. And this now, I've said in previous videos that I don't read comics. I've never re read a Star Wars comic. And then for um, Christmas, as you know, in the, in the toy hall, I got the two vintage comics from my brother and uh, sister-in-law, Nicola. And that made me start looking at comics on um, eBay. And I have no idea about Star Wars comics. I really have no knowledge of them. Um, but when I started looking at them, the ones that caught my eye were these ones. I started noticing, and at first I thought they were actual carded figures. I started noticing comics with uh, the front covers looked like uh, card backs with figures. So I've actually bought one. Now, luckily, I didn't buy this one, but this is the second one. So I've actually started buying these comics with the covers that look like carded figures. So it's amazing that you've sent this, Michael, because this is now my second one, and I'm going to show these in a later video. I've got a couple. Uh, I'm going to get a few more, um, and I will be showing them on a later video. So it's fantastic that you've sent that, because it's one that I needed, certainly one that I intended to get, and just such a coincidence that I've started collecting these comic books now. So... Uh, yeah, as you can see, fantastic lineup. Really pleased with those. I may well open them up and show them on future videos uh, and show the contents of the comics as well, but very, very pleased with those. And there we go, everybody. So we've got everything back out on the table and what a lineup. I mean, what a gift box. Couldn't be happier with that. So thank you again, Michael. Loving the comic books. Never seen those He-Man comic books, uh, but certainly will be taking a look at that. Uh, and obviously the Star Wars Stormtrooper comic book. Very, very pleased with that. Like I say, weirdly, I have started collecting them now, so it's a real coincidence that you've sent that. So that makes two. I will show these in future videos. So very pleased with that. Uh, always happy to get anything Boba Fett, uh, especially a droids figure, because that means I've now got two, which means I can open one, display one loose, and keep one on the card. Uh, the mini Game Boy sneaking in there. I will have a go at that. Really looking forward to uh, having some fun with that one. And of course, the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves top now uh, I will certainly get the figures out on the shelf definitely got room for those unfortunately the net launcher and the uh, battle wagon may need to go into storage for now because I'm struggling for space and they're quite big uh, but very very happy with everything so thank you again Michael uh, like we said at the beginning of the video Michael has got a channel himself he's a big toy collector I will put a link in the description below so check his channel out get over there give him some support I'm sure you'll find something you will like uh, so yeah, there we go everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you're one of my existing viewers and someone that's been watching my channel for quite a while now, I know I say it every week, but I really do appreciate every single one of you, so thank you. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I always read everyone's comments and get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.